We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we discuss the 1960 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. This small but mighty piece of currency has captured the attention of collectors around the globe, and we're going to explore its history, significance, and potential value. So grab a seat, grab a snack, and let's jump right in. Let's start by taking a trip back in time to the year 1960. The United States was in the midst of the civil rights movement, John F. Kennedy was running for president, and a little coin known as the Washington Quarter Dollar was in circulation. Now, what sets the 1960 version apart is the fact that it was minted without a mint mark. For those of you who may be unfamiliar, mint marks are small letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted. In the case of the Washington Quarter Dollar, mint marks typically appear on the reverse side of the coin, just below the eagle. However, the 1960 edition mysteriously lacks this marking, making it a unique and sought-after collectible. So why the absence of a mint mark, you ask? Well, while it's not entirely clear why some 1960 quarters were produced without a mint mark, it's thought to be a result of either a minting error or an intentional decision by the U.S. Mint. Regardless of the reason, this coin has become a hot commodity among collectors due to its scarcity and historical intrigue. Let's talk turkey. Or rather, let's talk money. The value of a 1960 no mint mark Washington quarter dollar coin can vary depending on its condition and rarity. As with all collectibles, the better the condition, the higher the price tag. If you happen to have one of these coins in pristine condition, you could be looking at a pretty penny. Pun intended. I in general, a circulated 1960 no mint mark quarter can fetch anywhere from $10 to $50, depending on its wear and tear. However, if you're fortunate enough to come across one in uncirculated condition, you could potentially fetch upwards of $200 or more. And if you happen to stumble upon one of the ultra rare era coins, well, let's just say you could be in for a windfall of cash. Beyond its monetary value, the 1960 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin holds great significance for both coin collectors and historians alike. This coin serves as a tangible piece of America's past, hearkening back to a time of social change and political upheaval. It's a reminder of the events and people that shaped our nation, making it a cherished collectible for those who appreciate history. Additionally, the absence of a mint mark on this particular coin adds an air of mystery and intrigue to its story. Whether it was a simple oversight or a deliberate choice, the lack of a mint mark sets this coin apart from its counterparts, making it a unique and compelling piece for collectors to add to their portfolios. Well, there you have it, folks. The 1960 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin in all its glory. From its intriguing history to its potential value, this coin is a gem worth exploring for any enthusiast of numismatics. If you happen to come across one of these coins in your possession, consider yourself lucky and treat it with the care and respect it deserves. Who knows, you may just be holding a piece of history in the palm of your hand. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to talk about a rare gem the 1961 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. This little treasure holds a special place in the hearts of coin enthusiasts for its mysterious origins and potential worth. So grab your magnifying glass and let's explore the history and value of this elusive coin. First things first, let's talk a bit about the history of the Washington Quarter Dollar. Introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, this coin quickly became a staple in American currency. With its iconic portrait of Washington on the obverse and the majestic eagle on the reverse, the Washington Quarter is a beloved classic among collectors. Now. Let's fast forward to 1961. This was the year that the United States Mint supposedly made an error by omitting the mint mark on some quarters. Mint marks are tiny letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted. Without a mint mark, a coin's origin becomes a bit of a mystery, adding to its appeal and value among collectors. So, why is the 1961 no mint mark Washington quarter dollar coin so sought after? Well, the absence of a mint mark creates a sense of rarity and exclusivity. Collectors love to get their hands on coins that are different from the norm, and this particular coin fits the bill perfectly. Plus, the fact that this error was never officially acknowledged by the U.S. Mint only adds to its allure. Now, 
Let's talk about the potential worth of the 1961 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin. While it's hard to pinpoint an exact value due to its rarity and the fluctuating market, experts estimate that these coins can be worth anywhere from a few hundred dollars to several thousand dollars, depending on their condition and demand. Imagine finding one of these beauties in your jar of spare change talk about a lucky day. If you're lucky enough to come across a 1961 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin, there are a few things you should keep in mind to maximize its value. First and foremost, make sure to handle it with care. Coins in pristine condition are always more valuable to collectors, so avoid cleaning or polishing the coin as it can damage its delicate surface. Next, consider getting your coin authenticated and graded by a professional coin grading service. This will help validate its authenticity and provide a clear assessment of its condition. A high-grade 1961 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin can fetch top dollar at auctions and coin shows, so it's definitely worth the investment. Speaking of investment, now might be the perfect time to start hunting for rare coins like the 1961 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar. With the growing popularity of numismatics and the increasing demand for unique coins, there's no telling how much these treasures could be worth in the future. Who knows, you might just stumble upon a hidden gem that could set you up for life. In conclusion, the 1961 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin is a rare and valuable piece of American history that deserves a special place in every coin collector's heart. Its mysterious origins, potential worth, and timeless appeal make it a must-have for anyone with a passion for numismatics. So keep your eyes peeled and your coin pouch ready you never know what treasures you might uncover in the world of rare coins. We're going to dive into the fascinating world of numismatics and explore the story behind the 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin. If you're a fan of rare coins and want to know if you could be sitting on a potential gold mine, then keep watching. First things first, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Washington quarter coin. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The coin features a bust of Washington on the obverse side and an eagle on the reverse side, making it a classic and iconic piece of American coinage. Now, let's fast forward to 1962. This particular year is significant because it was the first year that the U.S. Mint stopped including mint marks on coins. Mint marks are small letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted, such as D for Denver or S for San Francisco. The absence of a mint mark on a coin typically makes it more rare and desirable to collectors. So, what makes the 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin so special? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the lack of a mint mark sets it apart from other quarters minted in 1962. This can make it a sought-after and valuable addition to any coin collection. In terms of worth, the value of a 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin can vary depending on its condition and rarity. In general, a coin in mint condition can be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars to the right collector. However, even a circulated coin can still fetch a decent price if it's well-preserved and in demand. If you're curious about how to determine the value of your 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin, there are a few factors to consider. First, take a close look at the coin's condition. Is it scratched, worn, or discolored? These imperfections can lower its value. Next, check for any rare varieties or errors that may increase its worth. Finally, Consult a reputable coin dealer or online price guide to get an idea of its current market value point. One thing to keep in mind is that the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's always a good idea to stay informed and do your research before buying or selling. If you're lucky enough to own a 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin, you may just be holding on to a hidden gem that could fetch a pretty penny. I in conclusion. The 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin is a fascinating piece of American history and a valuable collectible for coin enthusiasts. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, it's always exciting to uncover the stories behind these rare coins and potentially strike it rich in the world of numismatics. So, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden treasures and happy hunting, my fellow coin connoisseurs.
we're going to dive into the fascinating world of numismatics and explore the story behind the 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin. If you're a fan of rare coins and want to know if you could be sitting on a potential gold mine, then keep watching. First things first, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Washington quarter coin. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The coin features a bust of Washington on the obverse side and an eagle on the reverse side, making it a classic and iconic piece of American coinage. Now, let's fast forward to 1962. This particular year is significant because it was the first year that the U.S. Mint stopped including mint marks on coins. Mint marks are small letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted, such as D for Denver or S for San Francisco. The absence of a mint mark on a coin typically makes it more rare and desirable to collectors. So, what makes the 1962 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin so special? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the lack of a mint mark sets it apart from other quarters minted in 1962. This can make it a sought-after and valuable addition to any coin collection. In terms of worth, the value of a 1962 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin can vary depending on its condition and rarity. In general, a coin in mint condition can be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars to the right collector. However, even a circulated coin can still fetch a decent price if it's well-preserved and in demand. If you're curious about how to determine the value of your 1962 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, there are a few factors to consider. First, take a close look at the coin's condition. Is it scratched, worn, or discolored? These imperfections can lower its value. Next, check for any rare varieties or errors that may increase its worth. Finally, Consult a reputable coin dealer or online price guide to get an idea of its current market value point. One thing to keep in mind is that the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's always a good idea to stay informed and do your research before buying or selling. If you're lucky enough to own a 1962 No Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin, you may just be holding on to a hidden gem that could fetch a pretty penny. I in conclusion. The 1962 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin is a fascinating piece of American history and a valuable collectible for coin enthusiasts. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, it's always exciting to uncover the stories behind these rare coins and potentially strike it rich in the world of numismatics. So, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden treasures and happy hunting, my fellow coin connoisseurs. We have a real gem for you all the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. This little beauty is a real treasure in the world of coin collecting, so stick around as we dive into its history and find out just how much it's worth today. First things first, let's talk about the design of this coin. The obverse features a stunning portrait of our nation's first president, George Washington. The reverse showcases an eagle on a branch with the inscription, United States of America, and Quarter Dollar. This iconic design was created by sculptor John Flanagan and has been a favorite among collectors for decades. Now, you may be wondering why this particular coin doesn't have a mint mark. Well, in 1964, the United States Mint was under fire for producing too many coins, causing a shortage in circulation. To meet the demand, the mint produced quarters at three different locations Denver, Philadelphia, and San Francisco. However, Due to the high production volumes, the San Francisco Mint neglected to add their mint mark to some of the coins. This error is what makes the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin so special and valuable. If you look closely at the edge of the coin, you'll notice that it's made of 90% silver and 10% copper. This composition is what gives the coin its beautiful luster and makes it highly sought after by collectors. The total weight of the coin is 6.25 grams with a diameter of 24.26 millimeters. Despite its small size, this coin packs a lot of value in history. Now, let's talk about the current market value of the 1960 for No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. According to reputable coin catalogs and online marketplaces, this coin can fetch anywhere from $10 to $100 in average circulated condition. However, if you have a coin that's in mint state or higher grade, 
you could be looking at a value of several hundred dollars or more. The key to determining the value of your coin lies in its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Speaking of condition, let's dive into the grading scale for coins. Coins are typically graded on a scale from poor to perfect, with various grades in between. The most common grading systems used by collectors are the Sheldon Scale and the American Numismatic Association, ANA, grading system. These systems take into account factors such as wear, luster, and overall appearance to determine the condition of a coin. When it comes to the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, collectors are looking for coins that are in excellent condition with minimal wear and attractive luster. Coins that have been well preserved over the years will command a higher price in the market, so it's important to protect your investment by storing your coins in a safe and secure location. Point one way to keep your coins in pristine condition is by using coin holders or capsules. These protective cases are designed to shield your coins from scratches, dust, and other environmental factors that can damage their value. By investing in high-quality coin holders, you can ensure that your collection remains in top-notch condition for years to come. So, to recap, the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin is a rare and valuable piece of history that's highly sought after by collectors. With its stunning design, silver composition, and intriguing backstory, this coin is a must-have for any serious numismatist. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, Adding this coin to your collection is sure to bring you joy and excitement for years to come. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed learning about the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, we have a real gem for you all, the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. This little beauty is a real treasure in the world of coin collecting, so stick around as we dive into its history and find out just how much it's worth today. First things first, let's talk about the design of this coin. The obverse features a stunning portrait of our nation's first president, George Washington. The reverse showcases an eagle on a branch with the inscription, United States of America, and Quarter Dollar. This iconic design was created by sculptor John Flanagan and has been a favorite among collectors for decades. Now, you may be wondering why this particular coin doesn't have a mint mark. Well, in 1964, the United States Mint was under fire for producing too many coins, causing a shortage in circulation. To meet the demand, the mint produced quarters at three different locations, Denver, Philadelphia, and San Francisco. However, Due to the high production volumes, the San Francisco Mint neglected to add their mint mark to some of the coins. This error is what makes the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin so special and valuable. If you look closely at the edge of the coin, you'll notice that it's made of 90% silver and 10% copper. This composition is what gives the coin its beautiful luster and makes it highly sought after by collectors. The total weight of the coin is 6.25 grams with a diameter of 24.26 millimeters. Despite its small size, this coin packs a lot of value in history. Now, let's talk about the current market value of the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. According to reputable coin catalogs and online marketplaces, this coin can fetch anywhere from $10 to $100 in average circulated condition. However, if you have a coin that's in mint state or higher grade, you could be looking at a value of several hundred dollars or more. The key to determining the value of your coin lies in its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Speaking of condition, let's dive into the grading scale for coins. Coins are typically graded on a scale from poor to perfect, with various grades in between. The most common grading systems used by collectors are the Sheldon Scale and the American Numismatic Association, ANA, grading system. These systems take into account factors such as wear, luster, and overall appearance to determine the condition of a coin. When it comes to the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, collectors are looking for coins that are in excellent condition with minimal wear and attractive luster. Coins that have been well preserved over the years will command a higher price in the market, 
so it's important to protect your investment by storing your coins in a safe and secure location. Point one way to keep your coins in pristine condition is by using coin holders or capsules. These protective cases are designed to shield your coins from scratches, dust, and other environmental factors that can damage their value. By investing in high-quality coin holders, you can ensure that your collection remains in top-notch condition for years to come. So, to recap, the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin is a rare and valuable piece of history that's highly sought after by collectors. With its stunning design, silver composition, and intriguing backstory, this coin is a must-have for any serious numismatist. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, Adding this coin to your collection is sure to bring you joy and excitement for years to come. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed learning about the 1964 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, this video will be diving into the fascinating world of the 1996 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. This coin is shrouded in mystery and intrigue, and we'll be exploring its history, significance, and potential worth in today's market. First off, let's talk a bit about the 1996 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter. As many of you may know, the United States Mint typically adds mint marks to coins to indicate where they were produced. However, in 1996, there were a small number of Washington Quarter coins that were struck without a mint mark. This was a rare occurrence and has made these coins highly sought after by collectors. Now, you may be wondering why the lack of a mint mark on a coin is such a big deal. Well, for starters, coins without mint marks are often considered error coins, as they were not produced in the usual way. This makes them unique and valuable to collectors who are always on the lookout for rare and unusual coins to add to their collections. The 1996 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter is particularly significant because it was the first year that the United States Mint produced quarters as part of the 50 State Quarters Program. This program aimed to honor each of the 50 states in the Union by featuring a unique design on the back of the quarter. The 1996 coin features a simple yet elegant design of George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. As for the potential worth of the 1996 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter, it's important to note that the value of a coin is determined by a variety of factors, including its rarity, condition, and demand among collectors. Given the rarity of this particular coin, it can fetch a pretty penny on the open market. In fact, some examples have sold for upwards of $500 or more, depending on their condition and provenance. If you're lucky enough to come across a 1996 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter in your collection, be sure to have it authenticated and graded by a professional third-party grading service. This will help ensure that you're getting an accurate assessment of its condition and value, and will also add credibility to your coin when it comes time to sell or trade IT. In conclusion, the 1996 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter is a fascinating and highly collectible coin that holds a special place in the hearts of numismatists everywhere. Its rarity and historical significance make it a prized addition to any collection, and its potential worth on the market is nothing to scoff at. So keep your eyes peeled for this elusive coin, and who knows, you may just stumble upon a hidden gem that could be worth big money. Well, that's all for today's episode of Coin Collecting Chronicles. I hope you enjoyed learning about the 1996 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Coin. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more coin collecting content. And as always, happy collecting!